We spoke to the management on the same and the road ahead for the company. This is what they had to say, listen in. Uh, Navratna certainly gives an edge in the market uh, when we, uh, because this is a uh, status uh, accorded by uh, government of India means they have uh, more confidence, they have shown uh, to the, in the industry and of course stakeholders and investors will have this message and uh, they will have certainly more and even our purchasers, customers, uh, uh, it will make a lot of impact. We can now have uh, capital expenditures uh, beyond previous uh, status and uh, in fact it is there's no ceiling but uh, the cap capital expenditure we can go we can make uh, joint ventures also with increased uh, limits we can have we can do more investments uh, uh, when uh, we talk uh, uh, when, we, when we compare with the previous uh, status we have uh, we can open now offices even abroad also uh, we have recently started uh, some foreign business uh, efforts uh, so this is certainly uh, this is certainly going to help us uh, when we talk of Railtel as a company uh, in the industry. Right. So as you rightly mentioned about the privileges you, you get uh, after receiving the Navratna status. So talking about the CAPEX plan, you know, Navratna status allows you to invest up to 1000 crore of rupees uh, uh, without seeking government approval. So any plans on increasing the CAPEX? And as you rightly mentioned, uh, you can even open offices overseas. So any kind of uh, plans that you have in place for the near future? See, as I told you that uh... We have started making our efforts towards international business uh, side and uh, certainly will require such kind of uh, 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 opening of offices and all this. So, but certainly we are not going to off open office just for the sake of opening. As we get a business opportunities in any of these countries uh, where we are uh, trying to explore market, uh, we will not have to uh, wait for any uh, approval from higher uh, authorities from government of India. Capital expenditure also, uh, previously, uh, though we have been doing capital expenditures, but as the data center market is expanding, as AI uh, is basically is the buzzword in the market, certainly the capital expenditure requirement uh, will be uh, now there uh, more in comparison to previous years and we'll, we'll utilize uh, this uh, facility as and as in when uh, the need arises. Right, okay, so no uh, capital expenditure plans as of now? Yeah, not now. Like, like this year we have capital expenditure plans for our network and uh, maybe uh, Delta uh, adding to our cap, uh, data centers. But because this facility was not there earlier, so we were looking for uh, partners, private partners for S data centers, even for our NOIDA data center facility also. And that facil that uh, that process is still on for even NOIDA data center. So we are not going to hold it on, hold it now uh, for NOIDA data center, but we'll certainly have this facility now for uh, future uh, endeavors. Right. Got that yeah. perspective. Uh, moving on to financials, uh, right? You have two buckets of revenue largely split into telecom and projects, uh, which likely have a 50 50 kind of uh, uh, revenue share. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I want to focus on the margin as aspect from uh, these two segments. You know, uh, as you had said in the last quarter earnings conversation, uh, that revenue or, uh, pardon me, the margins from project business is likely to uh, remain in a single digit kind of range so what is your take on the margins from these two segments so that is true that uh, uh, if project margin uh, is going to remain close to in the range of basically five to six percent overall uh, when we talk of uh, telecom business uh, so our EBITDA uh, margin uh, will be 30 plus percent and uh, that is where we are going to uh, Continue. All right. So, in terms of telecom businesses, where you expecting a higher share of margins? Yeah. So, do you expect the revenue to shift towards telecom because it is a margin accretive business as well? Because currently the share is just 
uh, yeah but uh, you know the telecom market telecom market of our country indian telecom market has always been uh, a very uh, talked about many uh, players in the past had to exit this very tough market but still we are continuing we are continuously making our efforts so that we sustain though our growth uh, in telecom business has been close to double digit is i think last year also it was not even double digit but we are not leaving a single stone so that our growth uh, dampens uh, certainly your question is very right that we should make efforts to have more telecom business but this is not so easy uh, but our efforts i can assure uh, our investors and uh, to the industry that efforts we will certainly uh, continuously dynamically uh, improve will uh, do more efforts and all that right so since your focus is uh, on the telecom markets let's talk something more about it so do you see kind of more competition coming on from uh, this segment the telecom segment as a whole telecom segment competition has always been there very fierce competition and the prices continuously going south uh, now uh, recently uh, though uh, airtel and jio have tried to increase some of their tariffs in uh, broadband and uh, mobile segment but uh, the results were not uh, expected on the expected lines so people means these industry players are still playing very cautiously uh, against the price rise uh, the price rise which they tried it was also in a premium segment it's it's very uh, ticklish it's not uh, easy to handle this market yeah right right mr kumar so uh, do you think more tariff hikes by uh, trai or by the uh, companies particularly will help sustain the margins that we have as a company see trai uh, generally does not uh, control the prices they only see that the prices are not beyond a ceiling if we talk of say nld bandwidth but uh, tri generally uh, now monitors the quality of service and all those kind of things uh, so uh, i'm not very sure because 5g also uh, uh, did not uh, bring uh, kind of business to the uh, companies as was uh, uh, envisaged and uh, still the companies are very slow moving ahead in the in the in installations in 5g directions um, Uh, so i think i am still keeping fingers crossed and uh, it will not be it will be premature to comment further on this right right mr kumar so 5g is something which uh, i think the entire countries uh, and the uh, top 3 telecom players are waiting for 5g monetization and taking steps towards it uh, rightly that to, uh, is to be watched out for but just one last question from my end due to crunch of time is your current total order book stands at around uh, 4600 crore rupees uh, as on the latest data which we have so can just uh, talk to us about uh, what kind of deal conversion over here are you looking for FY25 in particular, but uh, as we can see, uh, as we can see the breakup, you know, you get 75% uh, contribution from tender uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, segment. So, can you just uh, brief us more about uh, how far do you see this order book converting into revenue for FY25? Uh, yeah. So, uh, I will just make some addition. Our current order book size is somewhere around 4,900 crore. It is. Uh, with few uh, orders coming in this year uh, as far as the uh, order converting into uh, revenue so we are expecting this that it will be somewhere around 1900 to 2000 crore order book converting into revenue uh, that is we are uh, we are uh, of course we are very much optimistic about uh, so i think that answers your question how much percentage of the current order book do you expect to convert in revenue for fy25 so it's it's 4900 crore to 2000 you can just because order book will continue to dynamically will continue to change so i don't know whether how to answer this question right, uh, right. but yes uh, uh, this much i'm i'm i, so I can healthy, see that healthy yeah. pipeline is what uh, essentially is the case right now uh so we are expecting this year 2000 to 2005 crore or 2500 crores of 
new orders adding total in this year. Uh, that is what is expected. So, and then out of that, maybe 1900 to 2000 crore will get converted into revenue. So next year, again, we should have somewhere around to 5000 crore of order book when we start the next year.